Hi everyone, I'm Victoria Wilder and welcome to my home. I am the author of the gothic urban fantasy Lullaby of the Lilith You and this poetry book, Vladimir Songs of My Soul, which I have just started remembering that I wrote and that it's on Amazon and you can actually buy it. So today I just wanted to talk about how I make writing fun because writing can get tough. Writing can be stressful, it can be a lot of work, a lot of time, it can get really, really lonely. Um, and I am not the only writer who thinks this, obviously. It's a, it's a lonely career, you know? If you're writing all the time, you're probably not talking a lot of people. You're probably in your room alone, um, doing like, I don't know, whatever people do alone in their room. Um, so yeah, it can just get lonely. It can get sad, it can get exhausting, it can hurt your back. It can hurt your thighs and your butt because you're sitting all day long. Writing is not easy. It's not, okay? And that's not even getting into the whole, like, brain thing that it does, you know? That thing where the words don't work when you speak them, but do when you write them, that's because of the writing. So today I wanted to talk about how I keep my writing life fun, just how I keep it enjoyable, um, try not to stress myself out about it. So the first thing that I do is I care less. I just tell myself, you know, especially when it comes to the first draft, specifically when it comes to the first draft, I just kind of tell myself, you know, like, it doesn't matter. I'm the only one who's going to see it. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut things. I'm going to fix things. I'm going to move things. Maybe my partner will see it, but otherwise, like, and maybe one alpha reader. But otherwise, it doesn't matter because even with those, the three of us, no one else is going to see it. No one else is going to care. And the people who do see it are going to help me make it better. So if it sucks, it sucks. And then I fix it. And, and that's the thing I do with a lot of my life, especially if I'm starting something new or I'm trying something I've never done before, or like I'm the only one who's going to be affected, that I just kind of care less. I'm just kind of like, if everything's going to be okay in the end, or this can be fixed, or this can be like, if something can be done and this is not my final deadline, I, I got time to fix this and make this better, then I just try not to care and I go for it. I write whatever I want to write. I put in whatever words I want. Like, I, I'll, I'll write all kinds of crazy junk just in like one draft and like some of it is like in parentheses. I'll have like a whole chunks of like backstory that I know for sure I'm going to cut out so I just like bold it or make it like red. I can do whatever I want in my first draft because it's my first draft. And that keeps me from stressing out, it keeps me from feeling like a failure, it keeps me from feeling like an imposter, because all I'm doing is writing what's in my head and getting it out. And if I want to make it better later, I can go back and do that. I got nothing to worry about. So that helps me make the first draft writing so much easier. And because I'm still very much a perfectionist, it's not easy to write a first draft. I still want to have the right words as they come out. I still want to have everything sound good so that when I go back and read it, it's a lot cleaner. And so that when I go back and edit it, it's not like the worst thing ever. But I don't do, I, I'm just not at that point where I, I'll spend forever on something. If I can't figure it out within like half an hour, which for some people is a long time, but for me it's, you know, if I can't figure it out in like half an hour, then I'll put something in parentheses or I'll put like a placeholder or something and just keep going. Or I'll just shift gears and be like, well, that's obviously not what I meant to say, so I'm going to say this other thing. And I try to just keep it from being super stressful. I try to tell myself, you know, your whole goal is to get the story out and get it done and make yourself happy. That's it. My first draft needs to make me happy, nobody else. Literally nobody else. My like fourth, fifth draft should make someone else happy. That's like, if I'm gonna sell it, but my first draft only has to make me happy, I only have to care about that, and that makes it so much, so much more fun to write. Another thing I do to make my whole writing journey a lot easier, or a lot more fun, is I write down all the ideas that excite me. So I know a lot of writers who do that, um, and it like keeps, you know, they, they'll have like a whole stack of ideas that excite them. I don't have that many, because like when I say excite me, I mean like, I will sit and fantasize about it for like an hour. Like it'll come to my mind and I'm just like, oh, I could do this and I could do that and I could do this. And this whole like mini storyline just kind of comes into my head. And so like that is what I mean by excites me. And when, when something excites me like that, I have to write it down. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This I'm going to write someday. Like it's not like I might write that or that's a neat idea. It's like, 
I am going to eventually write this story. I'm working my way down a list. I do that with all my, like pretty much my whole life. I make lists and then I work my way down them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm free to skip around, free to remove and, and add things and change things. But for the most part, I try to keep my life um, kind of in a way where I, under, I, I see the path that I'm on or I can see at least the, the general path that I'm on. So I do the same with like my stories. If I'm really excited about it, I'll write it down and, be, and maybe add it to my notebook if I have enough like notes on it, if I have enough ideas for it. And then it's like, I am going to write this story. I'm so excited about it. And I have that to look forward to. So even if I'm struggling with one story, I'm like, it's okay. I get through this story and I have this other awesome story to get, get to. I have this other thing that I want to tell. I have this other thing that I want to work on. And I'm always excited about something. And if I'm really, really stuck on something, then I can just work on this other thing or flesh it out a little bit more. I'm not going to put as much energy into something I'm not. that's not my current work in progress. But I am going to like let myself play with it and toy around with it and 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 tweak things and think about it and brainstorm on it if I'm stuck on the on my current work in progress and that keeps me just from getting bored it keeps me excited I'm always working on something that I like I'm always working on something that that you know just that I know I want to have someone else read someday and so that keeps me excited that keeps the whole writing process very fun for me another thing I do is I try to stick with the writing community I try to talk to writers and this is very new for me actually like I've been writing since I was like a tot I've been writing since I was a little kid and being in a community of writers has like really really changed the game for me it's really made such a difference my friends on Facebook my friends on Twitter like the writing community on social media is wonderful I have a friend that I meet with every now and then and we have like writing dates or he'll do like some coding stuff and then I'll do writing um, and I have other friends that I like to, to work with on other things so having having a community in just about anything you do can be life changing. It's really, really beautiful. I recommend it. Get yourself community, get yourself some writing friends, get yourself, even if it's just online. I am in a group called Voices of Color. If you are on Facebook, it is for all writers, but we do have, um, we do tend to cater to writers of color because obviously Voices of Color and we are people who are creating a space for ourselves, but it is not exclusionary. So everyone is welcome. Come check out Voices of Color on Facebook. Like our page and while you're at it like my page victoria a wilder on facebook also link in the description um but yeah like knowing people making friends talking to other writers working with other writers that really inspires me and it makes me keep going it keeps me from from wanting to give up and like i i don't know like if I didn't know about the writing community, I don't know if I would have finished Lullaby the Lolo 2. I've mentioned before, I worked on this book for eight years. Eight years. And for most of those years, it was a lot of procrastination, a lot of putting it away, a lot of opening it and reading it, and then putting it down because I didn't want to go through the process of editing it. It was just a lot of me openly or like on the surface kind of wanting to give up, but underneath not being able to. And so it just created a whole kind of headbutting situation within me like my my twins my gemini twins were going at it about this book for like eight years for like six years and then i discovered the writing community um in 2016 i found the writing community on youtube i found jenna moresi and um, i found joanna penn and i found the word nerds and those three channels literally changed my process. They changed everything about how I approached writing, everything about how I decided to pursue my writing career. They helped change my life. And then meeting people online, creating a, a community, the Voices of Color community, the podcast that we do. Um, we are on hiatus at the moment, but we will be back, I hope, very soon. The podcast and the um, just the group that I know, the friends I've made, like life-changing it's beautiful it's amazing and it's made this this process so much more magical than it already kind of was like it's just made it it's made writing fulfilling in a way that I've always wanted it to be that I would always hoped it could be that sometimes it really felt like it was going to be but then like I said with my, my head button twins there was a lot of times I wanted to give up because it was hard and it was lonely and it was sad in a lot of ways and it was you know a lot of my writing came from depression came from sadness so I was already in that space and just isolating myself to write didn't make it that much any easier and so having a community 
having the writing community, knowing that community on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Twitter has absolutely changed my life. It has made writing so much fun. Um, you know, having ideas, having fun ideas, not being so hung up on having a perfect first draft. Because the first draft of this book, you guys, I have it. I have it in my apartment right now. And if you read it, you'd want to burn it with fire. Like, ugh. But I spent so much time trying to perfect it that it took me all those years to write it. It took me years to get past 20,000 words, okay? Um, and it took me maybe just a couple months to get past that with Diva. And I'm halfway through the book now. I started writing it again like a week or two ago. And so I've written like about two or three thousand words since I started writing it again. Even so, it's faster. It's so much faster than Lullaby the Lilithu was. And I think that's part of me changing my process, trying to have more fun, trying to care less, being open to, to adapting and moving around and changing things and meeting new writers. That's how I keep writing fun. Let me know how you keep writing fun. How do you keep yourself interested? How do you stay on course when you're trying to finish a book and it's been particularly struggle? Um, particularly struggle. It's been a particular struggle or it's been particularly struggling. Strug struggling? I don't think any of that works. How do you deal when you're struggling to write a book? How do you deal when your writing life becomes overwhelming or tiresome or heavy or a burden? How do you make it fun again? How do you make it lively again? How do you make it enjoyable again? Let me know in the comments. I will see you guys next time. Bye!